have come to you to get your attention on one serious topic nowadays that is a screen time for children screen viewing time for children is exponentially increased after corona virus or covid-19 pandemic so then everybody has a doubt what are the permissible levels of viewing a screen at the same time on another hand it became inevitable to use the device because online classes are also being added in last decade in fact screen viewing time is increased in the form of television computer computer uses now the classroom activity is also added in this juncture what is actually screen time what is a digital exposure permissible digital exposure time actually screen time means the duration of time spent by the individual in using electronic digital media like television smartphone tablet or computer in this context as for american academy of pediatrics guidelines absolutely no screen time for children under 2 years children aged 2 to 5 years more than 1 hour per day is considered excessive no more than 2 hour screen time for children other children and teenagers at the same time major majority of studies made it clear that excessive screen time is predominantly associated with the many health issues in children in a nutshell those are affects motor skill development for small children tasks like walking balancing and crawling uses of smaller muscle groups to perform like holding pencil some activities using wrists hand fingers and feet and toes which are called motor skills which also affects language development which leads to emotional problems unhealthy eating habits affects cognitive development leads to obesity affects classroom management disturbed sleep habits and sleep duration in older children parent child conflict aggressive behavior physical inactivity less time with the family and friends unfortunately in some extreme cases children may also expose it to violence and risk taking behaviors and sometimes misleading or inaccurate information will lead them to appropriate inappropriate things and uh, you we aware and we heard so many times the news about uh, this aggressive behavior and violence in even ch- children at the same time we have to acknowledge that technology is integrated to our daily lives and it became a valuable component of learning and student use devices for their classroom ac- activities extensively even in our india after uh, corona pandemic as a reality some research studies in advanced kind of screens and teens spent up to 9 hours up to 9 hours such studies uh, may not uh, are not happened at in india as for my knowledge in this juncture we cannot take a child away completely from the technology but our precautions only reduce the damage then there is a big question what do experts and research studies suggest as a summary i can get you a five points which can be accommodated in our houses the first one is engage with with your child activity children learn a lot from educational content they can benefit from uh, programming with the music mo- uh, movement and uh, stories 
but at the same time they can also be exposed to inappropriate images unhealthy advertisements and violent content so that is the area that is the time where we need to guide them we need to explain them what it is a reality how they understood so what should be taken what should not be taken however passive time screen time should not replace reading playing or problem solving at the same time in case of older children monitor their activities and be prepared for your child to make mistakes sometimes into teachable moments change them into teachable moments so they can do better the next time the second point is uh, healthy role modeling so children model their parents so as a parents we read books engage our time in physical activity and spend time outdoors at proper precautions setting up healthy limits on our uh, own electronics uh, uh, will definitely help a lot to our children third point children need rules about you say sometimes the strict rules will help us that's why create tech free zones or times discourage use of media entertainment during certain times eating time study time and homework and set and enforce daily or weekly screen time limits and curfew such as no exposure of screens and devices in certain cases this tip definitely will help and another question and the fourth third next point is is it okay if teens to be online absolutely answer is okay because both the tradition and social media can provide exposure to new ideas and information raising awareness of current events and issues but it must be in permissible limits that's what we need to check by our results next one is ensure quality screen time always when watching program with your child discuss what you are watching and educate about advertising and commercials choose the right apps videos and programs in case of older children encourage using screens in ways that build creativity stimulated education content and connection with the family and friends so these t- tips definitely will help you a lot in order to make the things right while our children are exposing to the screen time finally the earlier you set limits the better do your best don't beat yourself up if you are using more time don't feel guilty instead choose to be mindful set a good example with your own safe and healthy screen habits most of the things will definitely follow you encourage your child to learn other activities such as sports music art and hobbies that do not involve screen let us pledge ourselves to fulfill our duties in order to give energized childhood to our children since children are the greatest assets of nation greatest assets of world they are future backbone of our nation so we must give energized and strengthened childhood to our children lastly to all my sisters one suggestion is please don't feed your children while they are watching screen and strictly follow no screen time at least 1 hour before their bed time so these tips i hope will help Thank you.